and playing games when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. La, 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 la. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. La, 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 la. When you spend it with a friend, just like Bjorn and Bucky. Just like Bjorn and Bucky! Chicky's Dinosaur! Go, 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 Clamo! Ha! All right! You're up, Bucky Bud! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on! No! Wrong! Stop! Wait! Please! Phooey! I missed again! All right, all right, all right! Franny's turny, turny, turn! Yeah! No, back to the right! Yeah, no, left, left, left! Yeah! Perfect! Your turn to bowl again, Bucky! <clears throat> Not again, no! Bowie! Unacceptable! Uh -huh. uh, huh, where's Buck going? Hands up! <laughs> Straight down the middle! What's that thing? Some rock I found makes for a great bowling ball. Just the size I need. I'm tired of missing those dumb pins. Bucky, that's not a rock. That's an egg. Whoa. That's a big old egg. I wonder who will hatch from it. Well, if no one sits on it, then it's not going to hatch. You have to take good care of an egg. Sit on it, you say? I have an excellent brain. <laughs> So, Chicky, just sit there a little while. How long are we talking? Five hours-ish. No longer. You look extraordinary up there, Chicky. You keep up the excellent work while we make a brief exit. Okay, Buck, enough with the puns. Extreme weather we're having, having, having. Bucky, sorry. Whoa, Chicky, what's wrong? What's he saying? What's the problem? Chicky says outside there's a dinosaur or something. A dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like a pterodactyl than a dinosaur. They're not the same thing. That's a lot of sound effects. Yeah. Hey, fellas, come look. He burnt Nat's chicky poo. Here's the plan. We're gonna catch him and whomp him. It's Operation Rescue. Quick, where's my fly swatter? No. We should ransom Chicky back with food. With some yummy prehistoric food. Preferably before it gobbles him up. Where's this dinosaur thing? What's it called? Harry Baxel? Monster, just show yourself. Please come and enjoy super delicious Jurassic snacks. It's all organic. Hey guys, look. Huh? Up there. Unbelievable! Whoa! What? Our bird buddy is flying! Bjorn, what's going on? How is Chicky riding the very Wexel? I have no idea, but it sure looks like they've become buddies. Well, do you two suppose we could ride it? Woohoo! Yeehaw! Woohoo! Awesome! So cool! Very fractals rule! Oh, it's actually pterodactyl. Larry Flagpole? Uh. No, scary tadpole. Not quite. Cherry Blackbill? No. Looks like it's time for our pterodactyl to 
fly away for a while. You have to fly back and see us all the time. Goodbye. Come back soon. Bucky, you never said where you found that egg, you know? In the woods, next to those other really giant eggs. Oh, let's all go sit on them. We can all hatch ourselves merry fractals. Oh, no, for the last time, it's pterodactyl. Full warming. <laughs> Wait, wait, don't go! Oh, 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 oh. It's too darn hot! Now I know what a potato feels like when it's baking! What a heat wave we're going through! Phew, boy! What a scorcher! Wish I could take my fur off! Poor little overheated beak face. Chicky, don't worry. I'll cool you down, pal. Wait there. Here and here. Also here. Also, also here. And here. And here too. Now, which wire leads to what? Was it red or blue? Or was it gray or gray? I better unplug them both. Just to be certain. They're alive! Alive! You are so lucky to have a friend as smart as me. You'll be cool in no time. I just need to get some nice refreshing drinks from the fridge now. Come to me, my lemonade. Whoa, no way! It's even too hot inside the fridge. <gasps> this isn't just a heat wave, this heat must be the work of global warming! Well, all right then. It's time to invent something that protects us from Mr. Sun! This is my best idea ever! Beat the heat! Yeah! Nice cold fruit punch. Franny, thanks, but I don't have time for punch. I'm doing something really important. Can you not see that I'm working hard on a machine that will block out the sun? Great. Uh, why would you need to block out the sun? To save the world from the terrors of global warming. Look, Franny. Ooh, just need a few props. And there. Say you're relaxing in the sun, just catching some rays, and you start to get a little extra hot. You start up your sweet sunblockinator Omatictron and. Shade! Even on the hottest of days! <sighs> hmm? Huh? A fire? Looks like it's near Bucky's place! I'm coming to rescue you, buddy! <laughs> oh, Bjorn! Hi there! Want some fruit punch? Hey there! Bucky? So, what's burning? Nothing's burning! It's worse! Global warming is ravaging our planet! Bjorn, my poor fridge is no longer cold! It got warmed! This is bad! Hurry, we've got to save our forest! So, will you two boys have some of my punch or not? Who cares about the punch? Don't you die on us, forest! Hey, come on! Pump it, guys! Keep on pumping it! That's great! You picked the wrong glow to warm, Buster! Put your back into it! So, here I'll ask. Well, guess I should put the punch in the fridge. Who cares about the punch? The stuff is delicious! Huh, that's weird. Oh, it's been turned off. Odd choice on such a hot day. Hmm. Oh, the pluggy's outie! There you go, sweetie! Now it'll cool right down. See you later, Punchy! Pump, you pumpers! Pump like the wind! Yes! Take that, global warming! Fellas, I'm heading home. Bucky, I plucked your fridge back in for you and left some punch. Okay, bye! Uh, huh? It wasn't global warming that did it then? All this time, I unplugged the refrigerator myself? 
and we both thought that we were saving the entire forest. <laughs> pump, guys! Pump like the wind! <laughs> That's Franny the Fox 1, global warming 0. Want some fruit punch? That sounds amazing. It's really hot out today. Well, that's global warming for you. Insomnia. Could this get any worse? Are you kidding me? Shh! Nobody cares who! Go away, world! Stop it! <laughs> ignore it! Just ignore it! because I've got no sleepnia. Insomnia, that's what they call it. Go take a nap, come back this afternoon and we'll talk about why you can't sleep or whatever then. How am I supposed mm. to take a nap if I can't sleep? Well, you've got a point there. Well, let's solve your problem together and figure out why you're having this insomnia. To start, tell me everything you did yesterday. Yesterday, hang on. Uh. In the morning, I did some pretty important high-tech research. A little light farming, a lot of high-level brain stuff. Like most days, it's pretty taxing. Then, after lunch, some moderate to heavy farming, uh, with yoga on the side. Then, after some advanced gravity experiments, I invented a whole new way to use a chair. Oh, then finally, I thought up two rhymes for the word orange, but I didn't have anything to write them down with, so I forgot them. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you just played Farm Hero all day long. That pretty much covers it, yes. Well, I was gonna do more, and then I just didn't. Well, I do know one cure for insomnia, but I left it under this big pile of firewood. Can you help find it? Easy McPeasy. Mm, not really seeing anything under here. Maybe it's under this pile. Or these piles. Keep looking. You're doing great, Bucky. Hey! What's up? Where's your cure? It's not here! Well, that's weird. I was sure it was there. What if it's lost in all that big, tall grass? Right! So where's the lawnmower? I was hoping for the kind you ride on. Oh well, this will work just fine. Still uh, no sign of a uh, cure! Keep looking, it's gotta be somewhere! Uh, Nothing! Uh, Nada! Squat! Well... Well, what? Now that I'm remembering, that insomnia cure could have fallen from my pocket while I was planting trees. Wanna check? Please! Is it under that log? Uh, or by the fence, maybe? Uh, Keep looking! If I look any harder, my eyes will explode! Yeah, it's under the log. Uh, or in the hedge. <laughs> there. Oh! Hey! I definitely had it in the flower bed. Maybe. Or was it in the leaves? Or the dock that isn't there yet? And did you check the Zen rock garden? Or under my dirty dishes? Where, oh, where could it be? While you're checking the roof, can you install this pinwheel? Nice! Thanks! So is it up there? I can't believe we still haven't found your insomnia medicine after looking all that time. It's mega extra lost. 
Phew, I'm so tired. <gasps> I'm sleepy. I'll get some sleep and then we can look for the insomnia cure again in the morning. Why bother with that? A hard day's work is the best cure for insomnia at night. Makes sense. Hope I can find that no sleep me a cure when I wake up. A journey! Good morning, Bjorn! What are you doing? Lucky, hi there. I'm just getting stuff ready to go. You mean you're going on a trip? Can I come too? Why not? Come on along. I just love to travel the world, but not on foot. Walking's too slow, plus you can't carry enough stuff, plus you don't see a lot, plus plus you could get lost. We won't get lost when I bring this compass with us. Awesome! Hmm, I've got an idea. Rope, please tell me you have some. Excellent, that'll work. Come over to my place in the morning and bring your stuff. Time to be awesome! Hi, Bucky. Oh, wait a minute. What's floating in your yard? It's for us. A hot air balloon for our trip. Uh... Come on. Climb on board. It's time for us to fly. I don't think I'll be traveling by air. No way. I am not a flying bear. Why not? The balloon will carry us and all our stuff, and there's no chance we'll get lost because we can see everything from up here. Well, even if you're right about all that, it's bad weather for flying today. Ah, uh, I get it. You're afraid of flying, right? What? I am not afraid of flying. Whoa. Are you sure? Whoa. Problem! Uh, Bjorn, Bjorn, I'm really scared Whoa. of you. Travel was a bad call. I guess that we better walk home. But where's home? We've flown so far, I don't know the way back. Well, I don't know how to get back. Don't you have your fancy compass? Well, yeah, only it's still inside my backpack, which is back at your house. Uh, what are we gonna do about this? I wanna go home. Bucky, guess what? I think you were right, my friend. We can travel in this balloon of yours because I just had a great idea. That was some great thinking, Bjorn. This is a great view, just lovely. Don't forget that I need directions. <clears throat> Do your job. Go left. Good, I see our volcano over there. Turn to the right now, then straight ahead. You're doing great. Come on, let's switch jobs so I can do some flying too, Buck. Is it just me, or have I been pulling a lot longer than you did? Bjorn? Ooh, my scarf! Oh, look out! We're back at all those wires! Keep to the right! Yeah! Bucky, your <laughs> other right! <laughs> oh, hey! 
Julia. There's your house. Hooray! We made it. Yeah. Traveling is pretty awesome. Let's get lost up north tomorrow. Let's what? <laughs> Bjorn, why are you laughing? I'm serious. <laughs> you can see everything from up here. <laughs> There's a reason bears don't have wings, right? Wildlife, Wildlife photography. Ah. <sighs> Jake walks in playing games when they're sunny. Bucky! Who are the trees like this? All random and messy? You can't even get through them. This forest needs work. Bucky! Hey! Uh, uh, uh. Take that tree! Yeah! I am the lumberjack architect, undisputed master of the forest! And I say timber! Look out! Huh? What? <laughs> Whoa, Bjorn! Hey, hello! What's going on, buddy? Hey, Bucky, I'm just trying to observe the beauty of nature. <sighs> or I was just doing that. Let me see! Where's the nature? Where's the beauty? Come on! Uh, there! I just don't see any nature. Well, Bucky, the nature ran away. Because someone scared it off. Huh? Uh, nature should be observed uh, silently. And from a nice distance. Oh, uh, right. Tell that to the forest. Because it pops and crunches with every single step I take. Uh, I do tend to stomp around a lot, I guess. Oh, hey! I'll find a way to observe nature's beauty from a nice distance. It'll work even if I'm noisy. And I'm always noisy. Hmm, <laughs> not this. This stuff. And all this stuff, too. Tripod. Good. With equipment like this, I can observe the stuffing out of nature. Yeah. Now I just need to find some nature to try it out on. Bingo. Chicky! Just act natural and let me observe you, all right? <laughs> Just act natural! <laughs> Come on! I just want to observe your beauty! Where'd you go? There you are! Nature! <laughs> Here, Chicky, Chicky, Chicky! Chicky! <laughs> Nature just disappeared. What do I do now? Think, Bucky. Huh. <sighs> it's no problem. Bjorn's gonna love this thing. Because it's awesome! Scientists and others with big, smart brains will tell you that nature has sort of a problem with loud noises. Okay. So what then are all those? Long pause for dramatic effect. Who are by their very nature loud mouths? Ever to do! Well now, Bucky's latest invention has solved this terrible problem. I give you the remarkable nature looky thing! Speechless, huh? Check it out! You spot some sweet nature, right? But it's a very long distance off! Feel free to take notes. Well, in that case, you just press the zoom button. Zoom! Nature Whoa. grab! Then just observe the grand beauty of nature. When you've seen enough, Back it goes. Where do you think you're going? Bad nature! Fine. How about now? So nature's far better when my super technology enhances it, right? Well, Bucky, technology's nice. But up north, we take kind of a different approach when we're observing nature. Why don't you just come with me and see? That's so cool! Hello, Owl! Shh! Sorry. Ooh. Hello, Owl! They're so beautiful! Blue Moose! I wondered what that frog was so afraid of! I can't wait till they hatch! Uh, no comment. <laughs> 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 
These are awesome. This is how nature should be observed. That's right. When nature can't tell you're there, you can see much more of what nature does. It's cool to meet you, nature. You are awesome! Where? Here? Maybe nothing. Um, what about... Here! Huh. Hey, mushrooms! Are you all on vacation or what? I give up! There are no mushrooms anywhere! I don't think there ever were! Bjorny, buddy! Where'd he go? Who can keep up with that bear? Oh! What are you doing? Earth to the polar bear! So, am I just looking for mushrooms all alone? Hmm. You had time to find all those mushrooms and have a dance party too? Alright, Bjorn, tell me how you found them. Cause I looked everywhere, really hard. And I found none! I don't really know, Bucky. I'm just totally in tune with nature. Bjorn and the forest drum to the same beat, and that's how. But where you come from, there's no forest. Just a lot of snow. There is snow, yeah. But there's forest, too. And animals and the ocean. The north is pretty big. Question! How do you stock up for the winter up north where the world is frozen? Mushroom sickles. Just kidding, we dry <laughs> fish. And there's juicy walrus steaks <laughs> and yummy fish huh? oil. Yummy fish oil? So disgusting. Suddenly mushrooms sound a whole lot better. And this bear is going to invent a modern way to fix them. I'll make the forest dance to a brand new drum. Uh. Uh. <laughs> With his mighty hammer, the brown bear can change the world! Hey, Bucky, I could use your help. I got all the mushrooms ready to hang up <laughs> to dry them out for winter. <laughs> mushrooms, so, uh, mushrooms! Huh? I'm on a roll here! Check out uh, my amazing invention! Uh, it's a barrel with warts? Don't you see? Now every mushroom will be ours! Thanks to my remarkable machine, the Rush Zoomer Mushroomer 500! So, it's not a wart barrel? How is it supposed to gather mushrooms, Bucky? Prepare to witness the amazing! One humble brown bear is about to show the whole entire world the way a master stocks up for the winter! <laughs> yeah! Bjorny, look! Woohoo! Yeah! I love it! I'm a rush zoom in my tail off! Bucky the bear is a genius! <laughs> oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, rush zoom! Gotcha! Gotcha too! Got you! <laughs> well then, do you love it or do you love it? Greatest invention in bear history! But Bucky, there's a lot of stuff, just not the right stuff. Just look! Try! Dig around, you'll find mushrooms in there! Well, I found some really nice leaves. Ooh, the wonderful bounty of the forest! Looks great! Mmm! <laughs> That tastes truly awful. What if we mixed it with that yummy fish oil you were talking about? Wait, that's the worst idea ever. The polar bear is getting a pretty cool idea. Bucky, listen. I already know it. The rush zoomer is nothing but a wart barrel. <sighs> My big important machine for picking mushrooms is a failure. Bucky, it was not a failure. While it may not be the best machine for collecting mushrooms, it is super good at cleaning old leaves up. I'm a genius! Ha ha! Just look at the Deleafinator 5000! But I can make it even better! Maybe what it needs is a motor! Just a zillion or so horsepower and. I could hook you up with some reindeer. Forget reindeer and horses. We can use genuine bear power. 
Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Bucky is up! Bucky and Bjorn are both geniuses! Best Bear buddies, they got the goods with their wonderful wagon cleaning up the woods! Singing songs and cracking jokes! We'll see you next time, cause that's all, folks! B -b 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 uh, did you put brakes on this thing? How to cure a tree. Just a polar bear on a stroll. Bucky! Bucky, hey! You in there? We're going to the river, right? Have those wires always been there? Where are you? Come on, Bucky! I'm sorry, Bjorn. I can't go today. Where are you? What do you think you're doing? Stop that this instant! I mean it! Bucky! Ouchie, McPain, Pain, why are you screaming? You huh? totally made me mm. hurt myself. You say huh? you're hurt, huh? huh? Ugh. What about the tree? What? The apple tree? Like, what about it? It's only a tree, right? A tree is a living thing. It feels pain too, you know. Why are you torturing it? Me? Torturing? How? There's been no torture. I'm setting up the internet, dude. Can you just imagine the entire world at our fingertips? All the latest information in the entire world. And it's mine for the browsing. Uh, you're hurting the tree for the sake of internet, huh? What happens if the tree dies? This is only a tree, Bjorn. We have a forest full of them, see? What's your problem? Just watch. When I am through, I'll show you the whole wide world. You'll be able to see what our forest looks like from space. I don't want to see a tree suffer like this. Not even from space. You've hurt the poor thing. And now it feels bad. Bjorn, you are one odd bear. I'm attempting to drag you into the current millennium. All that you seem to be concerned with are some silly trees. I'm not interested in the kind of progress that causes any trees to suffer. You can do your interneting without me. Why was Bjorn that upset? I've just made this forest so much cooler. By far. It's really working. I'm a genius. They should call me Al. To Einstein! Home sweet home! Whoa! Bjorn sweet Bjorn! What's he doing? Poor thing. Hello, Bjorn. Are you alright? Are you still mad at me? I'm not mad, Bucky. Just... But you have a growl well, face. I'm worried about this poor apple tree. I've given it a lot of water, but it's still not looking any better. So why not just... Find the right way to fix the tree. You're an expert on branches and leaves and dirt and all that stuff. Bjorn, I'll help in any way that I can. Just let me know what to do. I'm pretty darn good at everything. Listen, you don't understand. The apple tree is a living thing. It can't just be repaired. It needs to be treated so that it can heal. But I don't know what to do. So... You need to heal a tree, but you're not certain how. When there's something that you need to learn, you just have to ask. And you know where you can find out the answer to pretty much any question? Wait for it. On the internet. There, it's really easy, see? Eureka! <laughs> Ladder time! Yeah! Get these out of your way. Ooh. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Catch! Nailed it! Oh, yeah! Incoming! Looking good! All right! Nice work! Thanks! It looks so much better than before, right? It will heal in no time! What a relief! What did I tell you, Bjorn? What would we have done if we hadn't had the internet? You must see now, it's wonderful. The way that science
scientific progress can improve our lives. You're right. But from now on, can we progress without causing harm to the living things around us? Like trees or flowers or ferns. Let's just not harm nature at all, ever, period. Or else we won't have anything nice to look at from space. You look very handsome from space, by the way. Old fashioned food. The master chef at work. His ancient secret recipe is a nutritious roadmap to Yummy Town. Oh, here already? Bwong, 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 bwong. Hi there, come on in. Hey. <clears throat> Am I early, Bjorn? Not at all, Buck. It's almost ready. What did you make? Well, pie? Well, it isn't pie, no. Then what? Cake? Not cake, no sir. Wait and see. Is it cupcakes then? It's not cupcakes. It's ice cream. Wrong again. Well then what? Are we even really going to have something? Behold! Smells so good, right? This is our ancient northern recipe. What's this stuff? Soup? <laughs> yeah. Wise bears teach us to eat lots of food that's nutritious before the start of winter. And this soup has lots of yummy things. Mushrooms, cabbage, and carrots. Just stop! You said this wouldn't be some old dull lunch. You promised a feast. This is a feast where I'm from. We call it Grand Poobah Chowder. I opened a can of really special spongy mushrooms for it. Thanks a lot, Bjorn. But soup doesn't sound that good to me. I'd rather just stick with my um, 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 yummy chips here. I'm not that hungry. If you're not really hungry, why do you keep eating all those chips then? They're bad for you. Remember, when summer's over, there won't be anything like this soup. <laughs> I sleep all winter long, so summer's never over for me. And these chips just couldn't be bad. They're so great. <laughs> and no cooking required. But the way we did it, Back up north. Up north we did this and we did that. Your ways are so old fashioned up north with your fungus weed soup or whatever. But this is modern food. It was made in a factory with machines and smart technology. Well, if you don't like the kind of food that I make, then the next time you can cook. Come on, Bjorn. Don't be upset. Hey, listen, I'll make something that's delicious for you. So good your taste buds will explode. Genius time. I'll invent a recipe that's totally new. It'll be fantastic. Behold. Nah, not good enough yet. What else could I use? Ha! Ah, gotta use gummy bears. <laughs> nice. Looks so yummy. Oh, I love hot dogs too. Ooh, and meringue. Chocolate, of course. Burgers. Wait, wiener burgers. Gingerbread. Cookies, yeah. Now lots of mayonnaise on top, ice cream, and cupcakes! It's so beautiful! Super McDuper! Now that is what I call a real feast! I'd better get Bjorn over here before the ice cream melts! <laughs> Bjorn, you are going to flip! Prepare yourself! You are about to be truly amazed! Oh, wow! Cool sculpture, Bucky! It isn't a sculpture at all. It's a super McDuper dish that I invented. It sure is taller than your regular food. It had to be big enough to fit all the flavor. Now then, board the train to Yummy Town. Eat that stuff? You really serious? Trust me, you're going to be begging for seconds, thirds, tenths. Oh, ew. Disgusting. What? Disgusting? Impossible. Gross, right? You don't look so good, Buck. You all right over there? I'm just fine. I've never had yummier food. It's really nutritious as well. Bucky? Junk food avalanche! Bucky, run! <laughs> Lost, gone forever, the food manity. Why? And I just realized I'm starving. It's all right, Bucky. We'll clean the whole mess up. And when we're done, you can reconstruct your dish. Your modern and high-tech, disgusting, horrible, awful dish. 
Uh, Bjorn, know what? Let's head to your house. You've got some soup left over there still, right? Make yourself right at home. Ah, mm, there. Ha-ha. <laughs> Try not to lick the paint off the bowl. Yeah, Grand Poobah Chowder. <laughs> they should call it Bucky's Bottomless Belly Bisque. That is literally your tenth helping. Can I have elevenths? <laughs> Please. Harvest Hero. Okay, this is incredibly important. Hi, finance here. And here, 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 here. Now I'll rock the world by planting strawberries! Oh yeah, I'm cool. Who's the best? I'm the best. Bucky? Uh, 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 are you in there? Come on, it's a beautiful day out here. I'm coming. Oh, I'm just so busy. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in three days now. We have so much stuff to do. You know it. That's why I don't have time for this. Dude, I have more work than I can handle. It never ever stops and my back kind of hurts a little. Huh? I've got pumpkins to double click. My strawberries all need de-weedification. Oh, come inside and I can show you my amazing farm. <laughs> Harvest hero, level 26, watch and learn. Mm, tools, shovel, go, beats. Yes, winning! <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes! Harvest! Harvest! Isn't that just the greatest? Uh -huh. But it's just not... Well, none of it's real. It's way better than real life. When you hit level five, you get farmer armor. Then no matter what they stack up against you, you can handle it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. It's intense uh. having all this responsibility. I don't have time for all this nonsense. Uh. My cauliflower is calling. Level 27, look out. Strawberry de-weedification. Pumpkins aren't supposed to be clicked. Pumpkins are supposed to be picked, which Bucky used to know. Hmm? Hey, wait a minute. Ah, I have a plan. The very newest game, you say? Uh-huh, it just came out today. It's what they call a virtual reality game. What does that mean? It means that the game plays and looks like you're really inside of it. The entire game feels Whoa. super real. <laughs> and is so virtual, like like you can actually eat the strawberries. Huh? Dude, I've got to try this. Why am I not playing it? Come on, where am I going to get to play? The waiting is too much. Put this on. Virtual eyeball interface. Finger sockets. Oh yeah, this is wicked. This is the Game Gear? Of course it is. And now you can turn around. Whoa. It's just, I can't believe this is a video game. The graphics are awesome. Let me play. How do you work it? Where's the controller? Forget <laughs> about controllers. You've got goggles for a screen. It's got built-in controllers and they're called your hands. You walk toward an object and just try and interact with it. Just like reality. The virtual baskets are right over there. Hmm. Mm. It had a real taste, a yummy one. This game is fantastic. All right, let's do this. Come on, game, let's see if you can keep up with me. <laughs> yeah! to sit home double-clicking all day. Well, who knew you had such an awesome game? Though I wish the reality of my achy sore back was only virtual. Maybe if you keep coming outside and playing my game, you'll master it. And then it won't hurt so much. 
Thank you so much, Bjorn. Good times. Don't forget to hit save. I don't want to lose my progress. I'm going inside to get a little... <gasps> high quality time in standby mode. That's gamer talk for a nap. An actual real nap in my real bed. Big Dipper, Ursa Major Great Bear. Ah, what a kick! Ursa Minor Little Bear. Oh, yeah! Cassiopeia. <sighs> Bucky! Enough reading! Let's go and play! I can't now. Sorry, Bucky. I'm supposed to study. <laughs> <laughs> Ursa Major Great Bear, Ursa Minor Little Bear. The Atlas of the Stars, huh? Why do you want to learn about the stars? Polar bears all have to really know every single constellation in the sky. Well, a book won't do it. You need to be looking at the stars in real life, Bjorn. And you can't see them in the day. Well, at night, I can't read the atlas. And I get really snoozy woozy. You need to visit a planetarium. Do what? You know, the building where you can look at the stars whenever you want to, even in the daytime? And do planetariums just grow in the forest? Um, not really. Well, I guess I'll have to learn the stars by using the book. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <gasps> you know what? It so happens that the world's greatest planetarium is right in my own cabin! <laughs> or it will be really soon! I need this for something. Give me half an hour, then come see. I'm a genius! Time to be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> no, Big Dipper goes here. Fancy glass. Teacup. This is fun. I'm making constellations, baby. Ugh. Tree stand. Bowl. Ugh. Hammer thing. Bucky, you are the coolest friend ever. Yeah. Hey there, Bjorn. You got here right on time. Come in! Welcome to the Bucky Way Galaxy! Ooh, it's a planetary! Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Nice try, dude, but there's no polar bear constellation. Seems like you'd know that. This is a planetarium, is it? What's going on with the ropes everywhere? Just ignore that. All the other stuff's what you're here to see. Yarn Bear, come on down! Prepare to have your mind blown! Just over here is Ursa Major, the Great Bear Pot. It's totally just like the real thing. Almost exactly, kinda. Up here's the Great Cup. And down here's the Great Broken Cup. All right, maybe that's not a real constellation. Uh, how come you hung a hammer? Well, you see, so it occurred to me. There's so many stars, there's gotta be one hammer constellation up there. I give you nail hit us major. So I made a few up. It's cool though, right? It fills an open space. Huh? Bjorn, wait, where are you going? What's wrong? Bjorn, are you upset or something? <laughs> hey, listen, I can take the hammer down if that's what's wrong. Although it is pretty banging, if I do say so myself. There's not a hammer constellation in the sky. Uh, I can fix everything, you know, make sure it's super accurate so you can study the stars for real. I'm better off studying out here. Thanks a lot, but your planetarium just isn't my... Please tell me you see those lights. Look at that. Fireflies. Isn't it pretty? I wish my behind glowed like that. <laughs> wow, that looks like the Big Dipper. I think it actually looks closer to the Great Bear. Hmm, Cassiopeia. Hey, just like you said, Bjorn that you wanted to learn about constellations out here? Well, that's just what's happening. Nature's showing us all the constellations. See, that looks like the constellation Leo Minor, Bucky. Nice kitty. And that's Pisces. Something's fishy about that one. There's Perseus. Hey, Sky Man. And Orion. Hey, other Sky Man. That looks like Scorpio. That is a big scorpion. And there's Aquarius. You're spilling your water, dude. Ooh, there's the Milky Way. Ooh, 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 ooh. Owl 
said, it isn't the Milky Way. Instead, it's a meteor shower that's learned to dance and do tricks. <laughs> That shows how well you understand owl language. What I really said was, we should all be in bed now, because it's quite late. Well then, I'll say goodnight, Fjorn, my friend. Try not to let that hammer fall on your head. 